I declare that your weak beginning is blessed in Jesus' name. The hand of the Lord is strong upon you. You will see the evidence of this miracle service all through the week. In the name of Jesus Christ. It will be back-to-back -back testimonies from tonight up until Sunday and up until the month November in the name of Jesus. I call your November a blessed month. I call it a month of favor. I call it a month of testimonies. I call it a month of breakthrough. I call it a month of lifting. You will see the hand of God strong upon your life. You will make constructive destiny along the path of, I mean, a, a constructive progress along the path of destiny in Jesus' name. I bless you with honor. I bless you with favor. Goodness and mercies follow you. In the name of Jesus Christ, fresh fire upon your prayer life, fresh fire upon your word study life, you are separated from evil. Naysayers are far from your life. Evil doers are far from your life. All who will make for your favor, may they appear this week. All who will make for your spiritual efficiency, may they appear this week. Wisdom is yours this week. You will make quality decisions that enhance your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Everyone who has attended this miracle service, I'm prophesying to you, in the name of Jesus, before this week is over, may my God, by the administration of such power, surprise you in a way that will bring tears from your eyes. Surprise you in a way that will bring tears to your eyes. If God can replace a fallopian tube that has been removed, medically proven, May my God replace everything that has been lost in your life. Do you believe this? I want to pray for you. I decree and declare, whoever is looking for a man to help, may they find you. Whoever is looking for a man to lift, may they find you. In the name of Jesus. For those of you who are owing, you are owing corporate debt, personal debt, ministry debt, I decree and declare by the gift of men, the ministry of helpers, come out of that financial calamity now. Come out of that financial calamity now. I bless the works of your hands. Go and prosper in business. Go and prosper in your career. Go and prosper in your investments. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I decree and declare every careless decision depleting your finances, careless financial decisions, I decree and declare may the wisdom of God bail you out of such kind of lifestyle. In the name of Jesus. Perhaps this may not be for everybody. But there are people who need to carry an authentic anointing, truly, for signs and wonders. You cannot demonstrate the reality of the life and the power of God, except power comes upon you. I know what power can do. I'm praying for someone now. A lady, a gentleman, a Deborah, an Elijah. I don't know who must drink of this. That you go back and begin to command a strange order of the miraculous. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. I release that grace upon you. With it, you will pray for the sick and watch them heal. With it, you will speak over people and watch doors of families open. Receive the grace for signs and wonders. I, I release it upon you from the depth of my heart. In the name of Jesus Christ. for someone again in the name of Jesus let the power to prosper now you understand I declare let it rest upon you now let it rest upon you now rest upon your business rest upon your ministry rest upon your job rest upon your children rest upon your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ And I decree and declare, let something rest on your head from tonight. Hear me? Hear me? Favor is likened to light that shines upon the face of a man. A glow that attracts help 
I'm praying for you. Whatever has covered you, so that those who help you cannot identify that you are the one they were sent to. I declare that veil is torn from off your face. That veil is torn from off your destiny, torn from off your face. In the name of Jesus. Finally, I pray for you in the name that is above all names. Hear me. Every assignment you have now before you that depends on finances, wherever God has ordained for that money to come from, I don't care if it's in millions or billions, provided it is for your destiny and will ultimately lead to the glorification of the Christ. I stand by prophecy. I gravitate those resources to your life. I gravitate those resources to your life. I hope you believe it. I gravitate those resources to your life. For some of you, while you are here in Nigeria, foreigners, God will connect you to men across the nations. They will desire to help you of their own accord. They will hold your hands and see to it that you are empowered also. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for you. The distraction that comes with prosperity, I decree and declare it is exempted from your life. The spiritual lukewarmness that befalls men in the presence of plenty, may it be far from your life. You will prosper still having your zeal for Jesus. You will prosper still having your passion for Jesus. You will prosper still prioritizing the kingdom. You will prosper and your resources will be beneficial for the kingdom. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Now wave your hands to Jesus as a sign of faith. Thanking him for all that has happened tonight. Wave your hands for the miracles, for the prophetic words that have come upon your life, the honor, the favor, the open doors, the deliverance. Wave your hands in anticipation for the many testimonies that will follow you all through this week. In Jesus' name I pray. I want to pray for you and I want you to be very serious as you receive. Especially if you know that things are not all right financially. Don't waste this moment. Hallelujah. Don't waste this moment. Make up your mind that you are going to receive. And even where God has helped you financially, you can still go further and higher so that it gives you room to serve God more. I look forward to people here who will come to Koinonia and say, give me the yearly budget, financial budget of Koinonia and as a single person you will write it. I know that you have the heart already. When God places the resources in your hands I know you will do it. For now God is taking us gradually. We are not ashamed of growth. For many of us it took time and it took diligence and the mercy of God and prophecy like you are receiving now. No matter how anointed you are it will take time but I'm praying for you particularly for those of you who are in serious financial issues now. Housing issues rent issues food is even the worst i believe that nobody under the sound of my voice especially a believer should go to bed hungry it shouldn't be it should be an economic policy and i know that the government is doing the best that they can and know to do but we owe a responsibility are we together to be able to use the prophetic and help enhance the quality of living of a people. I will feel very guilty as a man of God that I come to you here for hours, minister to you, and that you have people who go back home void of favor, and that you and your children will sleep hungry while I'm enjoying a nice meal in my house. It is not the character of a true shepherd. If I'm eating in my house knowing that there is bread in your house, we both are happy and God is glorified. In the name of Jesus, the cause of emptiness in your life, financial emptiness in your life, I pray for you by the God of grace and God of mercy, this night, by a prophetic word I declare, enjoy supplies from today. Enjoy supplies from today. Enjoy supplies from today. Enjoy financial supplies from today. May God raise strangers, men you do not know, and cause them to be interested in your rising. May God raise captains of industry and direct their interest to you and your family. In the name of Jesus, I forbid you from begging. 
I forbid you from begging by the wisdom of the Spirit. I forbid you from begging by the favor of God. I forbid you from begging by the gift of man in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that God is able to give us treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places where the eyes of men cannot see. May God show you gold in the midst of debris. May God show you gold in the midst of chaos. You will see things others don't see. You will capitalize on opportunities for your profiting. In the name of Jesus. Give me a testimony by the Spirit of the Living God. Are you praying? God will surprise you. That you can be sure. You go ahead and pray. The anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known unto God. Since you believe in financial testimonies, I release it to your life. This week, I release it to your life. This week, I release it to your life. In addition to your spiritual growth, in addition to your prayer life, in addition to your word study, in addition to your loving Jesus, in addition to your serving Jesus, I declare go and prosper. Go and prosper with dignity and with honor in the name of Jesus. For some of you, you have been helped by God, but the dimension you will experience this week, let it be such that you have never seen before. Let it be such that you have never seen before. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Demand. Father, this is the final service. What you told me in January, the realm that you said I will be walking in, I am yet to see it manifest. I place a demand. I place a demand on your grace by faith. God can turn your finances within the days that are left. Not weeks, not months. Days that are left. In one day, God can rewrite the story of your family. In one day, God can redefine your life again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, some of you are too slow in life and destiny. It is the reason why opportunities pass you. The keenness of spirit to maximize moments, you don't have it. I pray for you. It's called the grace for speed. Let it rest upon someone right now. That you will never lose opportunities. You will never abort opportunities in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive the grace for speed right now. Receive the grace for speed right now. Hallelujah. In the name that is above all names, I decree and I declare over your various points of contact inside and outside, let an unction from heaven rest upon it and with these points of contact, strange testimonies now. Strange testimonies now. Strange testimonies now in the name of Jesus Christ. Can I declare favor over you? Every door, this is our year of open door. Every door that has been closed towards you, 
by this mantle, this grace, you've heard the testimonies. I pray for someone who is desperate to see the favor of God in your life. Beginning from tonight, may favor start speaking. May favor start speaking. Speaking in your office, speaking in your home, speaking in the morning, speaking in the afternoon, speaking in the night. Receive that grace in Jesus' name. I'm hearing in my spirit, remove names from covens. In the name of Jesus, this one I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to ask you to shout Jesus. Any name of anyone here or any family that has been written in any satanic coven, right now as you shout that name, let fire burn everything right now. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Let it be burnt now. Let it be burnt now. Every ordinance, every ill speaking, every ordinance, be broken, be broken, blotting out every handwriting, be broken in the name of Jesus. Please bring them out quickly. Whether you are an usher or not, if someone is under the anointing close to you, please bring them. There's a reason I ask you to bring them. The ushers are limited, my apologies, but please help them. Parakatosh fresh. Chains, 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 chains be broken to receive tonight in the name of Jesus. The grace that makes men know you are there and call for you to come from the back to the front is called the grace for visibility to every believer whose heart is open to receive. Receive that grace now in the name of Jesus. Receive that grace now in the name of Jesus. Receive that grace now in the name of Jesus. The grace for visibility gives you elevated platforms. You always find yourself in elevated platforms that can give you room to serve Jesus or to serve your value in a way that makes you honored. I'm praying for you again. Every shame and reproach, everything that has not displayed your full potential for the nations to see and know to place a demand upon you, I decree and declare, let this grace bail you out now. Hallelujah. We believe in the blood of the Ibrahim and Suke, Esco, Babin and Sip, Rakaito, Kope, Babe, Soconda, Ilobres, Ivamande, Igabeso, Salakuria, Brante, to your people and to the nations, many who are trusting God for all kinds of miracles in their bodies, many of them holding death sentences this moment as medical reports. Many of them, like the woman with the issue of blood, they have spent their earnings. They have spent their means of livelihood. They have lost jobs because of ill health. They've had many parts of their bodies deadened and weakened. I'm praying right now, oh God, that you honor every word that comes from the lips of your servant. Therefore, I pray, every spirit, my God, that is the, at the back of any disease. I'm praying for you now. The grace that makes you a man of prayer. The grace that makes you pray even in the spirit. The grace that makes you travel till you become by prayer. I stretch my hands over you. In the name of Jesus, let that grace rest upon you now. Let that grace rest upon you now. Let that grace rest upon you now. Just help those under the anointing. You don't have to bring them out. Just, just guide them where they are. I'm saying it again. There is a grace that quickens men to pray. May that grace like never before. Let it rest upon you now. Help them please. Let, the, let that grace rest upon you now like stones this is what i'm seeing father i don't know what altar has tied down jennifer's destiny but right now by the power that is in the name of jesus let that altar catch fire now let it catch
catch fire now. Let it catch fire now. Let it catch fire now. I pray for you by this impartation. Let an ordinary life come to an end. Let an average life come to an end. Let a life that excels, a life that reveals Jesus in a more superior dimension, let it rest upon you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Anybody coming in the spirit of Laban, do not allow you have your space in life and destiny. Stopping that word Rehoboth from becoming your reality. You dig a well and the Philistines come to cover it. You dig a well and they come to cover it. May my God give you your space. In life, in destiny, in your home, in your business. I say it again, the God of portions. May he give you your own space. Do you believe this prayer? Now the power that raised Christ from the dead, every pit the devil is digging for your mother to enter and die because you have come here, they are exempted from death. They are exempted from death. Stand in partnership with all the graces that we have so lavishly received from the fathers of faith. And in the name of Jesus, under this corporate grace, I'm praying, as God has helped us, let it, let it walk in your life. The rod of Elisha will not fail in your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, call upon the God of vengeance. In the name of Jesus, may he visit the wicked. May he visit the wicked. For those of you who are in front here, I stretch my hands towards you. And in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I decree and declare, you had jobs and you lost. When God gives, he retains, he keeps. I'm praying for you. In the name of Jesus, for your shame, according to scripture, receive double. For your shame, oh, I release grace on you. Receive double. In the name of Jesus Christ. God is ministering to that person now. Wherever you are, I stretch my hands. Whatever connects you to serpentine spirits that will not allow you rise. In the name of Jesus, be free now. Be free now. Be free now. For those of you in front here, because you have come by the word of the Lord, and I'm praying for those in front, but it includes everyone. I see lots of people at the overflows. In the name of Jesus, according to the time of life, may the Lord give you the male children you desire. I don't know if you are going to believe this, but there's one of you standing in front here. The Lord is doing a divine surgery now. I'm seeing something being removed from your stomach, literally, as you are standing in front here. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, right now, may the Lord do that supernatural surgery. That supernatural surgery. I'm praying for you. Whatever must cause your eyes to open, to see where opportunities are, to see where God has blessed for you, that helps you enter your wealthy place. I pray in the name of Jesus, on account of this sacrifice, may your eyes be truly opened. May your eyes be truly opened. Don't be tired of receiving, no. I want to pray for you. One of the things that sacrifice does is that it gravitates helpers towards you. Most of us right now are like the man in, I think that should be John 5 or so, verse 7 thereabout. Jesus came to him and said, why are you in this condition? And he said, I have no man. This is the challenge with many businesses. I have no man. 
I have no man as a preacher. I have no man as a business. I have no man as an individual. I want to pray for you. Strategic quality men, strategic quality partners, strategic quality helpers, receive in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, as that grace rests on you, two of you in front here, in the name of Jesus, I'm declaring unto you that every limitation in your life, you just keep them gently, let it go. Father, you called out Becky, I'm praying whatever it is that is a covenant that is sponsoring witchcraft in these families i declare by the fire of the holy spirit let it give way now let it give way now let it give way now i release you by the power of the holy spirit be set free right now you will never 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 return to this calamity again in the name of jesus christ i pray for you in the name that is above all names every spirit that will not allow you rise paraka shubrandege balakuskia baratusia branteka baratusia as i'm praying for them i'm praying for you whatever wants to keep you down that you will not rise that you will not shine that you will not thrive in the name of jesus i take authority over it now i take authority over it now i take authority over it now hear me i want to pray right now every family that has been locked kept in bondage i come in the name of jesus christ at the count of three i decree and declare as that if it's happening in the spirit in the name of jesus that grace will rest upon you father i stretch my hands as you have revealed to me everyone whose life and destiny has been caged every family that has been caged right now at the count of three be released one two three i open that prison door now bring them out i open that prison door now by the authority of the spirit i open that prison door now bring them out let me pray i just saw something for those in the overflow outside let me speak to those outside i'm going to come to those inside all the overflows but those outside in the name of jesus i want you to bring the people out right now outside i'm seen by the spirit the lord is revealing something to me that there are people watch this i'm seeing a woman in the spirit with a child then she keeps losing the child this is not physical, this is spiritual. There are people who have carried things but they've been losing it. Outside, I'm stretching my hands right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Everyone who is a victim of that, be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. Delivered right now. Delivered right now. Outside, just the outside overflow. This is what God is revealing. I decree and declare everyone aborting destiny aborting visions losing things you should carry by the power that raised christ from the dead that spirit of loss and waste is hereby destroyed in jesus name me by reason of this sacrifice anyone here who has been held under the, the slavery of materialism the slavery of money you are obsessed about money obsessed about material things to the point you can kill because of money let this giving crucify that appetite once and for all let every obsession negative ungodly satanic lost driven obsession for money and material resources you can follow any man just because of money you can go anywhere just because of money compromise on your faith because of money i'm saying it again let your giving tonight crucify that loss forever 
power of God is going to rest on some of you in a very mighty way. Father, for these people and their loved ones, every curse, every charm, every enchantment that is responsible for the rottening of the legs or any part of the body in the name of Jesus right now, by the blood of the eternal covenant, every legal access Satan has over you or your family, let it be broken now. Let it be broken now. Let it be broken now. Pray. All the overflows pray. Our family connecting online, connecting by way of television. Go ahead and pray. Salibaras ko pray na kabela kas katabas. Ebra kataba kataba na kato soto pray katabas. Take a minute and invest in the spirit. Be a sower tonight, sowing into the spirit. Sherele ke paratus ya daba. A feast of hard things. A feast of the spirit. An expression of the love and the power of God in the midst of his people we receive tonight we receive tonight we receive tonight we receive tonight come on someone pray from the depth of your heart we're in a season where God is taking men to new dimensions new season in ministry a new season in my life a new season in business season of plenty season of increase season of fire season of power in Jesus mighty name we pray lift your hands and receive in the name that is above all names I decree and declare upon your life as I shout the prophetic words I want you to thunder a believing amen from January to December strange favor 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 in the name of Jesus Christ family is hearing the business is hearing the politicians hearing captains of industry men and women you have helped those who are trusting to receive your help i'm praying in the name of jesus let fire fall upon their sacrifices let fire fall upon their sacrifices let fire fall upon their sacrifices in the name of jesus i decree and declare that for everyone who drops any naira, dollar, whatever currency, whatever amount, small or great, on account of this call, in the name of Jesus Christ, between now and the time of resumption, what God did to me, what God did to this ministry, I pray that my God will do it for you. I say it again, what God did in my life, what God has graciously done in this ministry, may he do it in your life in the name of Jesus. Everything that is dead or dying in your life could be your finances, could be your spiritual life by the spirit that raised Christ from the dead. Let that situation and that aspect of your life jack back to life now. Hear me? If there is anyone here, I'm hearing addictions, suffering from any kind of addiction. An addiction is anything that has control over you, that you do not have control over it and leads you out of the ways of God, out of the will of God. I break every addiction now. Shout a loud amen. I break every addiction now. We're still praying. 
something is happening to you that will surprise you i pray for those who are in financial situations now you've done everything you know to do i'm praying by this sacrifice rise to a new level in the spirit man of god rise to a new level in the spirit businessman rise to a new level of impact in the name of jesus christ i bring before the lord struggling families not just in the area of finances that there is a cost that is placed on your family placed on your finances that people don't rise every time they want to rise something brings them down i call upon the god of jeshuron in the name that is above all names on account of this sacrifice let the blood speak let the blood speak let the blood speak let the blood speak for someone here, let me prophesy upon you. You will lay gold as dust. I say it to you, you will lay gold as dust. In a place you did not expect, if you have the faith to receive, I decree and declare, may my God give you strange jobs. I understand that many people, especially around this city, have had a lot of constraints, especially in the area of their finances, from rent to transportation to whatever. I have a duty under God to help your spiritual life, but not at the expense of other aspects of your life. Therefore, I decree and declare, may help and mercy. Some of you, someone will give you a place to stay and you will not pay one naira for it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone in business here, in the name of Jesus, provided is a legitimate business and glorifies God and adds value to people. May my God support your growth. May my God support your rising. Can I pray for your spiritual life? It's too early to be struggling with your prayer life. We are just in January. It's too early to be struggling with fasting. It's too early to be struggling with waking up in the night to pray. It's too early to be struggling with your word life. Whatever wants to kill your spiritual life already, I declare it must give way now. Fresh fire upon your prayer altar. Fresh fire for the word of God. In the name of Jesus Christ every wrong association in your life that wants to deviate you from the ways of God I caught you from them permanently in the name of Jesus now hear this and listen very carefully nobody will kidnap you receive this one oh nobody will kidnap you nor your family members nor your loved ones Anywhere there will be trouble, may your feet not go there. I say it again. If there will be danger and trouble, may the angel of the Lord take you away from that place. You will not enter a vehicle that will have accident. You will not enter a plane that will crash. But if you enter, it will never crash.